ladies, this is Patricia, also known as Guys Design One, here on YouTube, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a makeup tutorial. Sorry if you hear my sister in the background; she is like screaming at the top of her lungs. Since I'm going to be on camera, I really concentrate on getting my skin nice and even, despite the trouble that I'm going through right now. I don't know if you can see this one; it's like a pimple right here. So it's very neutral, but you know, somewhat still glamorous, because you know you always want to look glamorous, right? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I'll be done like in two seconds. Need me? All right, guys, let's get to the tutorial. All right, here we go. Um, this is NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm going to just spread that out. Just really want to get an even tone as our base and give those shadows something to stick to. Okay, now we're going to use a transitioning color or a bridge color. Pick a color that is very similar to your natural skin tone. And if you're around my color, that'll be Saddle or Texture by MAC. But if you want to go the more cost-friendly route, if you go to the 32 palette by e.l.f., you will see a color that looks like this right here. Third one over. Hit Pan. Love it so much. I take a blending brush, put that color on the blending brush, and take it right under your brow bone and above your crease and take that all the way in now if you have a hooded eye like me blending is like the most important thing okay right under that color um, or in your crease if you have a hooded eye just above your crease take a deeper brown I'm using Embark by MAC and just take it right there in the crease area just halfway into the eye not all the way in like you did with that other brown color now for the lid color I'm going to use a taupey beige color it's from the 88 palette it's this color right here right next to this gray color and this is a matte color I'm really trying to stick with um, matte colors for this look so that it's really, it's more natural looking because your skin doesn't naturally glitter. And for the highlight color, I'm going to use a gold. This is the only place that I'll actually be using a shimmer because I want the light to reflect in that area so that it gives a um, more lifted effect to the eye. And I'm going to use this gold right here in the 88 palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and add eyeliner and eyelashes and then I'll be right back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to line the bottom of my eyelid and my waterline with NYX 901 Black. Really? Really? Can't find my brush? Okay, let's follow up with a black shadow so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm going to use this same color on the inside of my eye, like in the tear duct area. And then I'm going to take it down right next to this black as well. Now my lips are already moisturized with uh, some Blistex, good old Blistex blush by NYX and it's like a pale pink. I want the lips to look, you know, sort of natural, so I'm not going to put a lot of it. And then I'm going to take this color, it's um, ELF's Super Glossy Lip Shine, and this is in Goddess. I'm going to go ahead and powder up my face with Amber by Milani. Now if you like to shine, like me, what I mean by shine is if you have oily skin, go ahead and take the powder and then take your brush and compress the brush onto the powder like this. Okay, and then go ahead and pat it in your most oily, it's most oiliest area. No, that's not a word. In your oily areas. Usually it's the T zone of people who are oily or oily, oily or oily to combination skin. I can't talk today. Mm -mm. And just kind of press it in that area. For me, it's really those three areas. On my cheeks too, but not as much. And then go ahead and blend it. After you've done this, you really have a flat look. And I don't do this every day, but you don't need any special products. Um, you could just go ahead and use eyeshadows. And that's basically what I do most of the time anyway. But just make sure you're light-handed depending on the color that you use. I'm going to go ahead and take the 88 palette. I'm going to take this brown right here, that one that's next to the black. And I'm going to take a brush with the angle top like this. What? Yeah. You can come though. 
and then just blend it really nicely. You don't have to come in here. You don't have to actually come in. Hmm? You don't have to be recorded. That's it. I'm gonna use MAC Full Fuchsia, light-handed on it, and I'm gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Very, very light. And then I'm gonna take a highlight color. It's this one right here, NYC Cheek Blush Duo, and apply it just above the blush and into my hairline. Alright guys, so that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll see you next time in another video, and as always, God bless. <laughs>